Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, hope you're going to have a really good Easter. Um, I'm going to do not a full-on review of this little crown, uh, but I'm going to touch on it and I also want to clarify a few points. Um, first of all, um, we've got a really good little channel going here. I'm so happy with uh, we all keep things friendly. Um, we all provide each other with tips and stuff like that. I, I learn a hell of a lot of you guys, um, and if I can reciprocate and give stuff back to you guys, brilliant. Um, unfortunately, uh, what can I say? Um, I don't really believe that much in censorship. Um, I try to reply to all comments, and I do my damnedest to. Good old YouTube doesn't always let me reply to comments. Some videos, I'm lucky if I can reply to three or four um, comments. Others that let me do the entire lot. And it's like 50-50 whether YouTube allows me to reply to you. I don't know what's going on there. But where I'm going with this, guys, is can I please, please ask you guys, and I know most of my regular viewers on here do, but can you keep it kind of re respectful? I don't care if you agree with me or not um, on my views on shooting. Um, the world would be an incredibly boring place if we all liked the same thing and done the same thing. Um, basically, guys, I'm, I'm working my butt off to put content out for you guys to help you along. Um, so... Uh, I think it was yesterday or it could have been the day before because I read all comments and um, I got a fairly mm, crappy comment should we say which I've I've like hummed and hard really whether I should uh, what I should do with it but I want to read it to you guys um, I'm not going to name who put it up because I've removed the comment from off the channel. But this is the sort of thing I really didn't appreciate really guys. Um, but I want, to, I want to be able to put my, my side across to such. I'm reading this comment verbatim. Right, it says, really interesting opinion. Dot, dot, dot. I'm 56, bought up. On a farm with shotguns, 410s, 410 is a shotgun, LR and Rimfire, well, uh, LR and Rimfire, it is a T2 long rifle Rimfire, but never mind. Got to say, I've never heard so much old bollocks. Fair comment, that's up to him. Uh, for the US guys, bollocks is basically British slang for testicles or crap, basically. Uh, he's then put, let me see, I think you mean that any mug can shot a pigeon at 50 yards with a shotgun and 30 foot spread. I don't know what sort of shotgun he's using because uh, none of my shotguns produce a 30 foot spread at uh, 50 yards. But however, whatever, he may be shooting a blunderbuss or something like that. I don't know, perhaps he's got some dodgy cartridges, who knows. Uh, he then put, times change, look behind you, your workshop, been that old shit, tools that belong in museums. Well yeah, I mean, it's a fair comment, and they probably do. Bear in mind the name of the channel is Finn's Vintage Tools, kind of give it away. I'm glad you noticed, because up there guys, you probably won't see it, but that little Stanley up there, it's a... Uh, 602 corrugated uh, type 2 bedrock if I saw that little plane up there I could buy an FX and put decent glass on top That's, so well, I'm glad someone noticed that however uh, cordless and precision well I've got to say this chat uh, on the other side of my workshop I've got yeah, I've 
I've got all the power tools I need there and they're all high end high quality stuff but I prefer use my hands. I don't believe technology can replace craftsmanship whether you're shooting or using a tool but that's just my humble opinion. He then says you've got no idea. With that in the wind in a cold day you take into account windage, elevation, humidity, temperature I'd stick to repairing Milton stools if I was you, or stay in your cave. Okay. I've never repaired a Milton stool, but I'm quite excited to do so. I'd love to do that. It sounds like an awesome project to uh, renovate a bit of um, vintage antique uh, rural furniture. I'd be more than capable of doing that. See where I'm going with this, guys. And uh, this kind of uh, sums up my little rant. Um, it seems these days people always are looking for the easy way out sort of thing. Uh, they don't want to take the time to uh, earn, uh, learn a craft, be at working with their hands with proper old school hand tools or a rifle. They just want a bottle, dispense with the springers and shoot the latest technology. Right, that's the negativity out of the way before I, uh, before I get upset. Uh, Let's talk about this crown. Now, when I unboxed this the other day, I think I called this gun awesome at least half a dozen times. It's been a right surprise for me. It really has, guys. This, this little gun here is going to replace my Wolfer Rotex for my farm ratting gun. For, uh, the night vision side of things. Uh, it, it's an awesome bit of kit. Right, for 350 quid you're getting a hell of a lot of rifle for your money. You really are. It's two magazines. I can't really go too much into the real liability on the Crown mags. We'll see. But in my experience they can be somewhat temperamental and prone to breaking. But hey, you, know, you can get Plenty of other ones, uh, then not terribly expensive, even though you shouldn't have to start with. I will say, if you buy this, even though it's 350 quid, you will have to budget in for a scope. And I really, really recommend you get a suppressor. This little gun is phenomenally loud without the suppressor on, like, really loud. If I shot any live quarry of this without a suppressor on, and the rest of the stuff's going to be in the next county before you can even reload it. Uh, yeah, what can I say? I, I've really. I'm not a PCP hater, it's the right tool for the job. I think they're marvellous bits of technology and kit. However, I still stand by what I say and say I believe everyone should learn on a springer. That'll teach them the basic fundamentals of marksmanship. And if they wish to progress in their shooting career up to rim fire and centre fire, I mean, they'll already be used to having a recoilless, uh, recoiling weapon as such in their hands. Uh, and it'll teach them the principles of uh, following through your shot and trigger control and all the rest of it. But this little gun, it surprised the hell out of me. It's been a, a good little gun. It's, I've had, had a little play around with the trigger. When I initially got it, it was a little bit too heavy for my liking, but now it's sweet as it, it, it's really good. Is it as good as an HW100 or uh, an Air Arms 510? Uh, no. No. But... Functionally, it is as good as them. It, it will put rounds on paper or on live quarry where you want it all the time if you do your part. What it uh, lacks is like the refinement of the higher end guns. However, you are paying a lot more for a higher end gun. And for anyone jumps on this one and say, wait until it needs to go in for repair or these suffer from reliability issues. I had an Air Arms S410, had more leaks than the Green Grocers, it really did. And I used to have a, a FX Impact as well. That gun, 
I kid you not guys, I'm not knocking FX's when it worked, it worked beautiful, beautiful, superb gun, but the reliability issues I had with that, it, it spent more time being repaired. You'll notice I haven't got an FX now, and I haven't got the uh, Air Arms S410, so I got rid of them. I, they just weren't worth the headache to me, but I understand different, different guns, different people, you know, and you may find like you have no issues at all. And it'll be the same with this. This thing might break in a week's time, or it might last me about five, six years. Who knows? But all I would say is I prefer to waste 350 quid than nearly 1500 quid like I did with the FX. But hey ho. Uh, yeah, with this little gun, I, I, I've got nothing really to complain about. It does exactly what you want it to do, when you want it to do it, and almost it's like the old Ronsil advert. It does exactly what, what it says on the tin. It is a good little gun. But for how long? For? I don't know. We'll find out as the days, weeks, months, years progress, I guess. But what I want to put across, guys, is... I don't hate PCPs, I just prefer Springers, that's my own personal bias and yeah and as for this little gun, if, you, if, if you're going to dip your toe into the PCP waters you could do a lot worse than picking one of these up, uh, that's all I can say. I'd like to say thanks guys for your continued support, sorry for having a rant at the start but you know uh, I realised running a YouTube channel, you set yourself up as a figure 11, that's a target from my American friends, and I, I realise you do that and you're going to get negativity, but is it really needed? You know, for someone 56 years old, uh, I expected a bit better, a bit disappointed in that, but anyway. And Next week I'll be doing a review on this, I've been getting lots and lots of footage, I'm going to almost put together a video montage, I've got lots of rat footage, I've got a few other little surprises, uh, what you'll see. Uh, but as a spoiler alert, I will say, this isn't without faults, but in general, bloody awesome bit of kit. And with that guys, I'm going to sign off from this one, cheers guys.